Well, we finished another week and God is so good. And I think we're seeing God's with us day by day, step by step. And it is so encouraging to know that our lives are not about having the good life, but about serving him and seeing him use us. In John chapter 15, you have the great passage on abiding in Christ and how that the vine will produce fruit. And we find in verse uh, eight, herein is my father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. And then you come down and uh, you find in verse 16, a very challenging verse. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask in my father's name, he may give it to you. Now, friends, it is God's will for us to bear much fruit. Today is not just a, you know, another day. If we indeed are abiding, trusting, drawing upon God based upon what Christ has done, power and wisdom and leadership, if we're allowing the vine to fill us with his presence, we will bear fruit as you're interacting with your family and you're walking with God and the presence of God is there, there will be fruit in their lives. As you interact with people that you're working with or with other lost people, if the power of God is on you because you're abiding in him, you will bear fruit. In fact, the Bible says here, you will bear much fruit. And then the fruit in your own life, the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, these are wonderful virtues that all come when we're walking in the Spirit. And so this matter of bearing fruit is a daily reality. And so this is what I want you to think about today. Today's not just an average day. Tomorrow's not just an average uh, Saturday and weekend. This time can be supernaturally empowered. And that if we're abiding in Christ, we can be bearing fruit that is beyond what you would ever expect. It can be an amazing day. You realize I touched that person's life. I helped encourage that person. The gospel went forth to that person. That person got saved. God's worked in my life. I, I've seen things today I never thought I would see. And so it doesn't have to be a common day. No, if we walk in the spirit, we will bear much fruit. And so I wanna encourage you here on this Friday. Let's make this a much fruit Friday, not because we're working so hard at it, but that we're truly walking in the spirit.